channel so the question is vlad and shapes the problem states that vlad is love has a binary square grid of n cross n cell a triangle or square is drawn on the grid with symbol 1 so as he is busy being cool he asks you to tell him which shape is drawn on the grid triangle consists of k consecutive rows where i th row has 2 into i minus 1 consecutive character 1 and central ones located in one column upside down triangle is also considered as valid triangle but not rotated by 90 degrees a square is a shape consisting of k consecutive rows where ith row has k consecutive characters 1 which are positioned at an equal distance from the left edge of the grid for given grid determine the type of the shape that is drawn on it so first we have to the number of test cases and n the size of the grid the next n lines contains character 0 or 1 the grid exactly contains one triangle or exactly one square that contains all ones in the grid guarantee that size of triangle or square is greater than one so for each test case we need to output square if all ones in the grid form a square and triangle otherwise without quotes so for the first test case as you see here if we connect the ones it forms a square in second test case it forms a triangle in third it forms a square and in this case it is inverted triangle for the next case if you see it forms a triangle and for next a square now if you check the outputs let's go and check the outputs so square triangle square triangle triangle square so we first got square then triangle square triangle triangle and then square so our output is correct now how to proceed with this question so to proceed with it first what we need to do is count the number of ones in one of the rows where we get the one so wherever we get one we count the number of ones in that row so suppose whenever i get the count of one greater than two so i will move further greater than or equal to two so suppose i got the count of one in this row as zero now i got the count of one in this row as two so as soon as i got the count greater than one so what i will do i will check the next row count of one is two is 2 equal to 2 yes it is so it is a square now for next problem here 0 number of 1 0 number of 1 only 1 number of 1 3 1 is not equal to 3 triangle now here we have 1 and again one so square so just you need to check for the first row whenever count is greater than zero you can check there so here we have count greater than zero so the count is three we check to the next row count is one so triangle now let's go to the case where we have more number of rows so that you understand it in a more better way so let's consider the case of 10 inputs so in this case how much are the number of ones it might be 9 because 1 is 0 now in this one how much are the number of ones 
थ्री आर जीरो सो सेवन वन नाइन इज नॉट इक्वल टू सेवन सो इट इज अ ट्राइंगल एंड वी एंड द लूफ हेयर इट सेल्फ वी डो नॉट नीड टू चेक होल ऑफ दम जस्ट टू रोज आर इनफ टू चेक हेंस दिस इज द सोल्यूशन टू आर प्रॉब्लम वेर एवर वी एनकाउंटर द लेंथ ऑफ वन इज ग्रेटर देन वन फॉर अ रो just check the next row and if count in the next row is equal to the count in the previous row then print square otherwise triangle so i hope you all understand this solution thanks for watching hello everyone welcome to the channel so the question is vlad and shapes the problem states that vlad is love has a binary square grid of n cross n cell A triangle or square is drawn on the grid with symbol one. So, as he is busy being cool, he asks you to tell him which shape is drawn on the grid. Triangle consists of k consecutive rows, where i the row has two into i minus one consecutive character one, and central ones located in one column. Upside down triangle is also considered as valid triangle, but not rotated by ninety degrees. A square is a shape consisting of k consecutive rows, where i-th row has k consecutive characters one, which are positioned at an equal distance from the left edge of the grid. For given grid, determine the type of the shape that is drawn on it. So first, we have to find the number of test cases and n the size of the grid. The next n lines contains characters zero or one. The grid exactly contains one triangle or exactly one square. That contains all ones in the grid. Guarantee that size of triangle or square is greater than one. So for each test case, we need to output square if all ones in the grid form a square and triangle otherwise without quotes. So for the first test case, as you see here, if we connect the ones, it forms a square. In second test case, it forms a triangle. In third, it forms a square. And in this case, it is inverted triangle. For the next case, if you see, it forms a triangle. And for next, just okay. Now, if you check the outputs, let's go and check the outputs. So, square triangle, square triangle, triangle square. So, we first got square, then triangle, square, triangle, triangle. And then square. So our output is correct. Now how to proceed with this question? So to proceed with it, first what we need to do is count the number of ones in one of the rows. Where we get the one. So wherever we get one, we count the number of ones in that row. So suppose. Whenever I get the count of one greater than two, so I will move further. Greater than or equal to two. So suppose I got the count of one in this row as zero. Now I got the count of one in this row as two. So as soon as I got the count greater than one, so what I will do? I will check the next row. Count of one is two. Is two equal to two? Yes, it is. So it is a square. Now for next problem, here zero number of one zero number of one only one number of one three one is not equal to three triangle. Now here we have one. And again one, so square. So just you need to check 
for the first row whenever count is greater than zero you can check there so here we have count greater than zero so the count is three we check to the next row count is one so triangle now let's go to the case where we have more number of rows so that you understand it in a more better way so let's consider the case of 10 inputs so in this case how much are the number of ones it might be 9 because 1 is 0 now in this one how much are the number of ones 3 are zeros so 7 ones 9 is not equal to 7 so it is a triangle and we end the loop here itself we do not need to check all of them just two rows are enough to check hence this is the solution to our problem wherever we encounter the length of ones is greater than one for a row just check the next row and if count in the next row is equal to the count in the previous row then print square otherwise triangle so i hope you all understand this solution thanks for watching